What's going on guys, Real Touch Gmail here and this is my first Unity tutorial. And today is not going to be so much fun with coding and starting off creating games right off the bat. It's stuff that, kind of the boring stuff that you need to know in order to make games. So it's kind of like learning a language and it's not fun until you know the language and you master the language. And that's with the Unity interface. And you need to know how to get from getting your scenes together to finding an animation that you made or just even creating textures. You need to know how to work with Unity and do this or else you're not going to get too far with Unity. So yeah, what I've done is I went ahead and thrown together a little project and as you can see it's just simple walking game and you got a flashlight here and there's jumping, there's space bar, or space bar, there's a health bar at the bottom left there. And you got a flashlight, and you can turn it on and off, and then there's sprinting. And this is what we're going to be doing with our first Unity series of tutorials. We're going to be making a game like this. Maybe instead of a flashlight, we will have a gun. I don't know. You decide. Do you want a flashlight, or do you want a gun? We can we can decide that in the comments section. But yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing for our first project. Now, in order to make this, again, you're going to need to know how to work with the interface. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what everything is. All right, so if your Unity is not set up like mine, you can easily add new windows by going to Window here and then just picking whatever you want and then just dragging them into the right place. So I would recommend setting your Unity up like I do here, and it will be a lot easier to work with the tutorials that I give out. So right here this is your scene. Top left you see scene right now. And this is where you can edit everything, make everything cool. You can select our player here. You can drag him, bring him different places. And yeah, that's basically where everything takes place in your world. Down here's your game. And if I don't put on maximize on play, as you can see we can play the game down here and you can see it working in the scene view which is pretty cool okay next we have our hierarchy and this is where all of our game objects are so as you can see I have level terrain the GUI the flashlight our player the main camera this is where everything if you're familiar with game maker there's objects and if you're familiar with Java there's classes and this is basically a game object is like that it's everything that is just set for one specific thing or has one specific function and I'll show you how to group together or parent objects together in later tutorials but that's not the point of this one alright so we got our hierarchy here and then if you go to project this is where everything is stored like your animations your materials your textures your scenes your scripts and where your assets would be once you load it up and I'll talk about assets a little bit later. But yeah, that's basically where everything is. You, as you can see, animation, we've got the walking here. So when you play the game, you'll see that it does a little bob. That's where the animation is actually stored. All of our scripts here, so crosshair, uh, flashlight script, mouse look, movement script, all of those scripts are right there. And in order to create something, just go to Create, Folder, JavaScript, Shader, Prefab, Material Animation, all that stuff. And we will be going over that later on of course and on the right here we have our inspector and in our our inspector is kind of like our settings for our our player or our level or our flashlight or our GUI whatever you can set the position the rotation the scale you can set a mesh filter a capsule collider this is where you would set up rigid bodies you would put your movement scripts here just any script really and this is where that would all take place alright and that's basically the bare bones of it. In order uh, for getting around in the scene, you can right click and you can rotate around. And if you hit the middle button, you can like move it around, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And you can also like mess with this right here with the Z, Y, X, Z, yeah, stuff like that. And that's pretty cool with Unity. And yeah, that is very, very basic interface usage. We will be getting more like working with these tabs here, like the game object, component, terrain, uh, stuff like that. We will be getting into in later tutorials. But that's basically have it set up like this, or if not, that's fine. But just know that I'm going to be 
you know, every time I go into the hierarchy, I'm not going to say I'm going into the hierarchy. So if you just set it up like mine, you'll see that I'm in the hierarchy. Or you can just look up here. That's fine. Uh, so go and leave a like, go and subscribe if you like this and want more, you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. We can actually start up a new project and start getting with the Unity Editor. And hands-on will be a little bit easier for me to explain all this. Again, this is just real quick interface usage and stuff like that. So yeah, go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace.